Okay, is Yoshi good to go? Good to go. So a month ago today you were in Disneyland. Now you're full international, Manchester United player. Life moves quick, doesn't it? Yeah, it's been a roller coaster the past uh, past few weeks. Some very good experiences, and I'm very happy uh, to be here. Obviously, last season you had a great season with Bologna. You won the award for the best young player in Serie A. Where do you feel you're at in your career right now? Obviously, uh, at a good point. I mean, uh, making a transfer to Manchester United is uh, obviously something very positive. Can't wait to get started and uh, continue what I basically did last season. Just hoping to improve every day and yeah, do the best I can. Can I see my looks? Yeah. Give it, give it a go. <laughs> For any of our supporters who haven't seen you play before, how would you describe yourself as a player? Creative player, good with the ball, yeah, a bit unpredictable at times. Those are the perfect words for me. Do you like to entertain? It's best to entertain with the whole team, not, not necessarily as an individual. You have to make the fans who come to the stadium happy as well about the game. You've got, you've got sharp movement, you're comfortable under pressure. Uh, you've got good deception in confined spaces. Are all those qualities things that you picked up in, in the Cruyff cages? As a young boy growing up, uh, playing mostly with tougher, bigger guys who are older than you, uh, makes you adapt. I think it's something that you learn at a young age in Holland, uh, especially where I'm from, uh, this was the case. So. Going back to when you were a kid, who were your football heroes? Ronaldinho was uh, for sure my hero. As I grew older, Ibrahimovic as well was uh, someone I really looked up to, but I think Ronaldinho was, uh, was my favourite. We read that you used to get in trouble with your mum because you were out playing all the time. It turned out okay, didn't it? How proud are they of you? Yeah, I, uh, I hope she forgives me now for, for, <laughs> for all the times I, come, I came home late or uh, if I broke something in the, in the backyard or even, even just at home. So. <laughs> Eventually, uh, it all worked out pretty well. That was just life back, back when I was younger. Uh, play football, forget about the time and getting, getting back home late. So, yeah, it turned out pretty well. <laughs> yes. hey. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, and it's brought you here. You're going to be working under the management of Eric Ten Hag. How excited are you for that? It's, a, it's an extra privilege, of course, uh, because he's Dutch. I'm Dutch as well. Besides that, it's, it's, uh, it's obviously not the only reason why I came here. I mean, Manchester United is a, is a great, is a huge club. That's perfect, guys. Really nice. Let me just get a couple. And of course, he's not the, the only Dutchman on the coaching team. We've got Ruud and Rennie have both joined this week. Do you think that will help with your adaptation? Yeah, having some, uh, some Dutch people around obviously makes it a bit easier. To be fair, I'm an easygoing person. I'm not too difficult with uh, adapting. But yeah, it's always nice to have them around, yeah. And how familiar are you with, with Rude's game? Because I think you would have been 11 when he retired. Yeah, no, obviously, uh, when I was younger, watching the Dutch national team, Manchester United, yeah, he was one of the, of the guys who you were pretending to be on when you were playing out with your friends. So uh, having him now here is obviously, yeah. It's a, bit, it's a bit special, but uh, it's great, it's good.